The first time we played against TL was our very first match as a team. Honestly, just our teamwork wasn't good, our draft wasn't good, our play wasn't good. We were an awful team, but I think we're much better now. I think for some people, they get really antsy about TSM's reputation. You know, they're on the upswing, they have this huge legacy behind them. But I don't really think of TSM's strengths, I only think of their weaknesses. I don't think Zen and Mithy are really that great. Like, they're really good players, for sure. I'm never going to say that they're bad, but I, I will say that they don't like pull the trigger on plays a lot of the time, and when they do, that's when you see them make a lot of mistakes because they're so uncomfortable doing it. Mithy in the very back! That was a gift! When our ball lane pulls the trigger on a play, I feel like we're really comfortable because we do it a lot. But at the same time, we're like vulnerable to getting blown up. Huge plays out of the bot lane! I think Team Liquid is just a very easy to read team. They only play around double lift. Not much has changed from old CLG. They stop where they get stopped. If they fall behind, they always lose. They're extremely inconsistent. If the good teal shows up, we'll have a fight. If bad teal shows up, then they'll just roll over. Most people who have the brain would anticipate TSM to be pretty good at the end. But we beat TSM before. We can beat them again. They're not superhumans. If anyone's going to break their legacy, I would love it for it to be us. Put it all out on the line. TSM taking on Liquid. Get it to roll every time. I think the jungle meta is more focused towards ganking and being unpredictable. And I feel like Mike is much more that. Mike is a much more aggressive player than Nick Smithy. I think Nick Smithy has done better in... Um, Patches that revolve around vision and playing tank junglers. Even though there are still tank junglers now, there is no vision control in the jungle uh, outside of pinks and trinkets. So I think it gives us the edge, to be honest. Smithy going for the top lanes. Ooh. Flash from Hansa, but Smithy's level six. Pumps his ulti as well. Oh, we got tagged. Now there's a flash in for the stun. Oranges, they're trying to wait it up, but the silence could just be the problem. Great knockup there as well. There's the suppressor. Mike Young is too late. First blood over to Impact. Here comes Spirit. We're going to try and make it a turnaround here. Impact kind of caught a little too far forward. Going to run down by Mike Young with a root lance in for Bjergsen. He'll get the kill. Fantastic spot up against this Cho'Gath that end up picking up that kill. Good patience here from Team Liquid, just kind of yeah. waiting out. And at some point, Holt's well, like, yeah, I just can't use my oranges anymore. He uses it here. We're just like, he's basically stunned, suppressed as he's putting the orange in his mouth. Because he's like, you know what, I have to do it now. But it's just definitely too late. And even if he had used it earlier, he's going to get stunned up and he's going to get suppressed. So it's a lose-lose situation. And then Bjergsen with the roll. That's really what matters. Went into that item, but Bjergsen... He can afford it right now. He's 20 CS up. What a hook there from Olay. Actually finds Ben who shifts out now. Stun's gonna land in. Olay gonna need damage. Olaf on the side. Damage still there. I think Olay's gonna be a little too low for the Ignite from Mithy. Cleanses it off. And now Mike Young is gonna try and chase them down. He needs his Akira kill. He flashes in. He wants Olay to yeah. rip up. Ticking down. Not enough spent flash order. He is gonna grab it. He security cares. Takes down the scuttle. But watch this 2v2 again. This has started off by TL. They lands the hook on Spent. Feels like it's gonna be great, but then he gets stunned up, and Olay takes so much damage there. I like this little move where Doublelift moves forward, thinks he can bait Mike Young towards him, and then takes the lantern, but Mike Young wasn't gonna bite on that one, and ooh, almost. So he flashes to get that auto as Mike Young throws out that glass. Like we were talking about, and now TSM are threatening, now that they had that blue buff control for a dive to finish this turret off and maybe get these two guys on the bottom side. Mike Young on the hunt, pops a predator, looks for Olay, can't get out of this at all. And the kill goes back over to Sven Bjergsen, trying to cut off double lift, but Bjergsen had that one. Roman Holtz is playing Farmville. 
is down on the buff side. Impact. Yeah, he's in a long lane with no turret. They're TPing the Anivia to try and save him. And Vix is like, all right, now what do I do to get out of this? Impact says, you do not! Hans are going to try and get one down there. They're going to look to fight on the Pobelta. True Drop Barrage is going to hit, but Pobelta does manage to flash it still. It's actually worth it. Just get big, nice, big uh, Precision Protocol number two kicks in. Oh, look at that Trinity Force for Sven. Oh, catch a hook there from Mike Young in the Ragnarok. Feels good, man, as all uh, Mike Young. Gets himself through that one. Hans uh, chilling out. Yeah, I'm gonna control what Stunlands on a Mike Young, knock up there for the Rupture, Ragnarok pops! Oh, the wall is very nice, there's the Barasolti, combos it all the way in, and Mindy gonna get caught on the front lines! And now Sven taking damage, gets himself out with a ship, but still 4v5 for TSM, they're trying to battle back. Oh, no it's not, it's Mithy again. Who is it? It's always, it's someone, we'll figure it out in a second. It is Mithy, there he is! Now Drake, they're looking to go over to TL, Smite from Mithy secures it, Mithy, Mike Day again, TP's into Doom, no! QSS flash out this time as a stun, you know, to Impact, he's gonna gift over a kill to Mike. He has a flash and a blast cone to get over. All right, we'll see what he tries. It's Mithy lining up for the steal. TSM trying to be patient, but control is it a salute? Is he going to go ahead and sacrifice himself? Got to be careful. It's Smithy again waiting. Just is he going to go in? Be patient. Oh, no, it's the smite over to Mike Young. Able to get it. Now Impact trying to find the team fight, but not going to get it. Which interrupted Smithy from possibly taking the blast cone here. Watch Mithy on this Brom as he goes around. He's going to cast the ulti. That stops Xmithy from getting in there using the Blast Cone. And by the time he flashes in, it's taken right. Well, notwithstanding, that is a massive deficit for Team Liquid. Here comes the rise. Surprise! It's just Bjergsen. Impact now gonna be in a pretty unfair 1v2, rooted down probably forever. And goodbye, Impact. Bjergsen able to get it. And gonna keep going. Yeah, he's becoming oh, a monster. Oh! Really punched on forever. Sven on a killing spree. As now Bjergsen gonna ride the rest of the team in. This is it. They're gonna try and end the game. Double it. Plus don't watch out, but he's still tagged by Brom. Ragnarok, Mike Young just gonna slaughter him. As Bjergsen takes down Pobelko on the left-hand side. Team Liquid lose three in a heartbeat. And TSM, they're gonna start forcing this turret down. Remember, it is low. And now it's dead. As they've got more than enough health to tank it up. In hit gonna go down in mid as well. Baron is back alive. Bjergsen has found impact. He's just gonna tie him up. He's trying to get the wave. He impact. He tried to flash. He grabs the wave, but they take him down. Bjergsen on a rampage, and TSM is still going. That's still 50 seconds on impact. TSM, if they have the damage, they can end the game. Well, Mithy gonna tank up his first few shots, but the wave is here. TSM are gonna go for it here. Nexus Tower 1 falls down. 14 seconds on double lift. 30 on impact. Is X Mithy gonna try and Whoa. cut him out? I like the attempt! Play into the fountain is not enough to kill Haunter and Mithy. That's it! Who protect his team to take it down. The Nexus will be claimed by TSM as they take down Liquid in the rematch. A crucial victory for TSM. They needed to tie up that head-to-head. -head. They now have one-to-one -one against Team Liquid, and they are even in the standings at an 8-7 and seven oh, apiece. Oh, <laughs> like you said, TSM finding their rhythm, surging at the right time. A lot of teams, you know, have made lots of changes in 8.4, given how many changes were put into that patch. But TSM are a team that, ever since they found, I think, the formula that worked for them, they have stuck to it, right? Bjergsen, sideline pressure, global pressure, especially on the likes of Ryze and Galio, is where he's shown safe bottom lanes that scale well and can kind of play towards the strength of mid and late. And Hansa just back on carries and then just give Mike Young something he can function on and make pressure. TSM's formula has been pretty obvious, but it's working out. Exactly, looking in top shape right now. The fact that they're still having Hansa on carries, Bjergsen is playing pivot so he can go to other lanes. You talked about the Galio banned away. He had played it as well. And the Rise just using the Realm Warp to get into these fights and help Sven and Hauntzer scale into the game. It paid off in spades there. And I don't think, again, we've given him maybe as much credit as he deserved. But Mike Young, that was a game I think that was firmly on his shoulders, at least in the early game. He was doing great work in the early game to get the ganks happening, to apply the pressure. And then in mid to late game, just run, like doing what all 80 carries. Hey.